Hello everybody, today we're going to continue on with our platformer series and what we're going to do is just go over like one-way platforms. It's really important, it's in like Super Smash Bros and a lot of other platforming games. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the very first thing you do before you really touch anything, you'll want to go to edit, project settings. So in engine, you just want to look for collision and under object channels, you just want to do new object channel. And I'm just going to call this one way platform and I'm just going to have it be block except and then under preset go ahead and open this up here and do new and I'm just going to call this one way platforms collision enabled and you just want to change this to collision enabled here and then object type you just want to change it to the one way platform the thing we just made in the object channel and just keep everything blocked and then you can add a uh, description i'm just going to do so i basically just wrote collision used in player platform trace function and you can give it whatever description you like of course you're done with this so go ahead and exit and so in platforming games super smash bros there's a ton of platforms and what you could do is create like a parent platform like just having sprites like this so just having sprites like this is okay um, but one way to really like optimize your development time and just make everything more custom so you can use things a little bit more they're like faster and more flexible uh, you just make a blueprint so let's go ahead and delete this make a blueprint class and I'm just going to do actor BP platform just like that and here we'll just go ahead and open it and then go ahead and do push add sprite then you just do paper sprite or you could do flipbook as well um it depends on if you want to animate it or not but we'll just start with sprite for now and from the element i or the uh, the source sprite i already have imported a platform so you can use whatever you like so that's all you need um one thing you do want to double check so go ahead and go back out to the content drawer right click create child blueprint class and i just call cbp for child blueprint and you can call it whatever you like you're gonna do one way platform and for the upcoming code i'm actually going to give a lot of the credit to cobra code um he found a really good method i tried a couple different methods but so far i think his is my favorite so giving credit to that shout out to him but yeah go ahead and open up the one-way platform i'm just going to change this to mass lit sprite just so it's lit drag it out i'm just going to reset the location on the y-axis to zero okay so we have it here and we push play you you just land on top of it and I'll raise it just a little bit so we can walk under it. Yeah, as you can see, we can't jump through it. We can only jump on, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and add that. So let's go to the BP player, create a new function. I'm just going to call this trace platform. Okay. And so we're just going to grab our character movement and grab is falling. And from here, hold B and left click to create a branch. That or you could just type in branch here. Either way, it works just fine. So in the in the true, you just want to do line trace for object. Um, the start location is going to be at your sprite, and we could always put in a custom location for this. But we're going to go ahead and on the player, just add, and then we're going to type in scene, and we're just going to call this ground point. Go over to the viewport, and you can see here this is the scene, and you can move it up and down. And I'm just going to put it right at the bottom of the capsule because that's where you're going to be touching the ground. So right at the bottom of the capsule, good to go. So let's just go ahead and bring in our ground point. Git world location. So we're just going to get world location, plug it into the start. And basically this is just the starting point for the line trace, right? So um, from the object types, we just want to pull it out and then do make array. And from here, it's basically scanning for all the objects with the same collision. So we're just going to do one way platform. Cool. And then now we're just going to do vector down. And then from vector down, you're just going to multiply. Uh, we're going to create a new variable here. I'm just going to call this platform distance. And we're just going to make that a float. Just like that. And also over here on the side, I kind of like to categorize these things because it's kind of, it's uh, really nice for organization. But in the category, I'm just going to do platform trace cool and then from the default value let's make it like 10 
So let's go ahead and drag this out. Get platform distance, plug it in. And then from the multiply, we're combining the vector down, which is the downwards line from the player, with the platform distance. So it's going to go down by 10 units. And we're going to multiply that together. And add. And from this add, we're actually just going to plug it into the get world location. So we're basically adding this value, this result, with the world location, and then that is where it's going to end. So we're just going to plug that in. And from here, draw debug type, we could just do one frame. And really quick, just to make sure that this is working for you guys that are already at this point, let's go ahead and go to the event graph, go to your event tick, and then we're just going to do trace platforms. Okay, and compile. And then now you could see when we jump, you could see that little red line. That's that's our collision point. And it's just seeing how far away the platforms are, and then it just disappears. So let's go ahead and continue on. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get velocity, because we want to make sure at this point we're going to make the collision for the platform on or off. It's going to be like a light switch. So from the velocity, we want to split it. And since the character will be falling when we land on the platforms, we want the velocity to be less than zero. So we're just going to do less than zero. And from this, we want to do and boolean, just like that. By the way, if you hold control and click, you can rearrange nodes as well. It's kind of a nice hockey from the return value because we want to get the out return. And it's like, yes, you're going to hit a platform because it's within this range that we set up here, the, the 10. And then, and you're falling. So what we want to do from there is create a branch. So hold B and left click, or you could search it. And from that, you just want to go from true and grab your capsule component. And from the capsule component, we just want to do set collision response to channel, just like that. Change the channel from world static to one myo platform, otherwise this won't work. New response, we just want to make it block, because if you're falling and your velocity is less than zero on the z-axis, and you're about to hit a ledge, which is this line trace, it's basically predicting your fall right here. And so when you're falling and it returns true, you block, so that means you'll land on top of the, the platform and it will stop you. We're good to go, so duplicate. And false, you want to drag here. Alright, from there, you just want the new response to be overlap. And what this is, is basically, if you're jumping or anything, if you hit these collisions, then it'll just be an overlap and you'll go right through it. So save all. So after here, after you set these two up, we just want to make sure that the one-way platform has this collision as well. So go ahead, go in here. I accidentally closed my details panel. So if you ever accidentally close one of these, you just go to window and then you can just choose whatever you like. So from here, make sure the paper sprite is clicked. And then what you could do is just type in collision. And from this collision preset, go ahead and change this to one-way platforms. Just like that. Cool. And now it should work. So let's push play. Let's go under. We Push space and you can kind of see the large debug, but we can we can remove that. But yeah, so now it works. And the only thing that you want to make sure of is when you are jumping between platforms. So like if you duplicate this and the size is very small, you could get stuck potentially. Um, it's it, this is kind of like good. So maybe I could raise it up a little bit, but. In level design, you just, yeah, just like this, so I'm stuck now. Um, but in level design, you don't really want to have this set up like this if you're going to have collisions super close together. Uh, maybe you could set it up to where either your capsule collision could be a little bit smaller or you can have more functions, but like this is just like the base setup. Um, just try to keep that in mind with level design. So yeah, you can just kind of make decisions on what you want to do, but there you go. Now you can jump through platforms, hell yeah.
One last thing, so sorry about being inconsistent with videos. I've had a lot of commissions lately, plus my full-time job. Videos have been kind of hard to keep up with, but I do plan on showing off more of like each category and I am kind of working on my course a little bit on the side, but I just want that to be really good. So I'm kind of taking my time with it, but I'm going to try to produce a lot more free content because, you know, the homies need some 2D Unreal content, you know? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever it is for you. All right. Peace, peace.